The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Ladies and gentlemen, America is more dangerous than ever with 9 million property crimes last year. Crimes are happening every day. Be proactive and protect your home and family. Simply Safe Home Security System helps guard against criminals, thugs, and thieves. Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order Simply Safe today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through February 28th. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. With new and ever-increasing health threats on the rise, there has never been a more crucial time to support your immune system. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary new silver solution that is clinically shown to be several hundred times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver and is powerful enough to help protect you and your family from deadly viruses, bacterias, and fungus. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported, highly effective, and perfect for everyday use inside the body as well as out. The science Digest Journal says silver is our mightiest germ fighter. It is virtually non-toxic and is emerging as a wonder of modern science. Supernatural Silver is the number one choice of thousands for improved health and immune system support. Find out how Supernatural Silver can change your life. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER2014 for 20% off. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. Hey, guys, before I forget, John McAvee's here with us, ladies and gentlemen. Any websites, Twitter accounts, Facebooks, anything you want to plug, anything you want to say that you've forgotten to say before we answer the question about the missing Malaysian flight that's the big mystery right now, uh, and then go back to phone calls. All right. Um, well, I, what I want to say is uh, everybody out there, uh, take responsibility for the, for the technology that you own and, and realize that the risks that you are putting yourself under by, by not being aware of all of these risks. So um, uh, download the uh, Cognizant app, uh, run it on your phone. You're going to be shocked at what you find out. I can't wait because I already know what's running on it. It's incredible, but I guess it's all right there. And I've seen reviews. People have seen it. It shows everything right there in real time. So it's just like your antivirus software would show you the viruses. This shows you all the spy links. And yeah, yeah. What it does, it, it's not a real time. It, you run it, and it will tell you which of your applications are doing what. You get to choose at that moment. Don't let it, you don't have to wait for them to uh, to actually be spying on you. Uh, oh, it tells you what they do. It's like it a, a scan. Do, yeah, it tells you what to do before they do it, and then you can choose at that point to. to that way, you don't have to read uh, twenty page contract and find the right. fine print written in Martian. Absolutely. To ex to explain what they're doing. Yeah, and, and John's like a forefather of uh, giving away software, and then you know, claiming it on, on the back, monetizing that on the back end. Uh, so, you know, it's a lot of things. He, he fe invented antivirus, but he's also, you know, invented basically the way everybody does, does with these apps. Yeah, what do you think of Dr. Uh, Stallman and his free software movement? 
Well, you know, Dr. Solomon is a, is a nice British gentleman, and um, he, uh, we're talking about Dr. Solomon in England. No, no, Solomon, St you, uh, Stallman, we had him on the other day, you know, the uh, Genu guy. Yeah, yeah, Richard Stallman. I think he's a very nice guy. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, he's into the free software, go ahead. Yes, same thing. So yeah, so I, I basically invented to give the software away for free. Uh, and, and almost everybody does that now, although, although most of them, it's not really free. You, you get to use it for a month, and then they shut it down. Um, but uh, I believe that, that, that once people see the value of something down the road, maybe they'll just pay for maintenance, or they'll buy the next product that you come out the door with. So, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not out to make a fortune right now. I'm I never did that on purpose. I wanted my films to be seen because I wanted to prove the things I was saying. And other talk shows had a coffee cup or a newsletter they had to make money and pay their bills and have a crew. I made documentaries, which probably aren't the best in the world uh, production-wise, but content, it's good info. And I would let people copy them when nobody else would. Yes. And that that built a huge Space. listenership. Absolutely. And I wasn't doing it on purpose. Then later, like, branders and marketers went, look at his genius plan to get everybody early. And but I was just doing the right thing. You were. Stumbled into it. it your heart's, you were following your heart. If you follow your heart, you're going to make money. This is a fact. See, I want to have a conversation with you about that because you're a really interesting guy. I mean, what makes you tick? Uh, British father, American mother, right? Or was it vice versa? Uh, uh, no, it's America, uh, American father, British mother. My, hey. my father was an American soldier during the war. That's right. And then came back to the Appalachians. That's, that's where correct. you grew up. That's where I grew up. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what makes me tick. I've, I care about people. I care about um, relationships. I've, you know, I, I love a lot. You know, And if you love, you get hurt. And, and I'm willing to risk all those things. That's right. But I feel sorry for all those cold-blooded people that are sociopaths. And, and they think they're so cool because they don't have any heart, but they're totally unfulfilled people. I, I agree fully. And, and the world is full of sociopaths now uh, because people spend all of their time connecting with their, their smartphones. and their, I've, I've seen people text each other at the same table. You know, it's, it's like it's insane. You're right. It's, in fact, I was reading a study on that. It's artificially making people more sociopathic. And more isolated. Artificially, because you're, you're pretty much born a sociopath, they think. This is artificially making people d dehumanized. You're a tech guy. What do you think of that, John? Well, yeah, I think that's one of the things. I mean, I, we've had some conversations. John was actually at, at this conversation. We, we were talking to a guy who was uh, pretty deep in some of these uh, operations, government operations. And um, he was talking about, you know, at some point, we're going to have to come back to a nonverbal form of communication. Because they can intercept everything. They're, they're intercepting, you know, conversations. They can pick it up in the streets when you're walking around. Um, you know, people are going to have to figure out a way to, to get back the basics when, as they say, SHTF, right? Um, you know, how can, can people take their, their privacy back, take their freedom back? You know, and, and that's, one, that's one of the things that uh, we talked about at that point. And I think that, you know, we're becoming very dependent on these technology devices. Uh, I use it, and I certainly enjoy it. It's kind of like, you know, this, this balance. Act. It's like the Borg are assimilating us. Yeah. They're just rolling it out. We're accepting it, and it's becoming ubiquitous. Yes. Yeah, well, my phone tells me, hey, it's time to leave for your flight. You know, this is, this is when you have to leave to make it to it's the It's time airport. to take protein shake. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's time to make a left turn here so that we're not even aware of where Well, it's we, all my crew that knows how to really use all this stuff. Yeah. And so they're trying to get me in shape and stuff. So it's like 7.30, time for protein shake. 8, time for workout. And they're all feeding me data. And it's like, bing, 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 bing. It's like. Uh, I like it and I hate it because you come dependent on it, right? I mean, I remember when I first, you know, would pro. I mean, I forgot. I don't even know anybody's phone number. It's, it's all in my Google contacts. Oh, so used I to, I could memorize numbers. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Used to, I could do math in my brain. Now I literally can't do math. I'd use the calculator. I don't even know my own phone numbers. This is a fact. You know, and, and that, that's how tragic it's become. Yeah. We are we are Borgs without without the metal implants. We carry we carry the implant in our hand. Well, that's coming. All right. Exactly. I got to talk about some news breaking on DrudgeReport.com. <clears throat> Showdown. Kerry gives Russia Monday deadline, and the Ukrainians are asking NATO to basically attack the Russians. The Russians are massing troops on the border. Uh, the the chairman of the Joint Chiefs said they're prepared to military respond. This is crazy town. Well, war is money, Alex. Yeah. It is money. It's it's how it's how we it's how we jump ahead rapidly through war. And then look at this under it, even creepier. Homeland monitors Drudge Report. Details of DHS media monitoring capability program revealed. Newly obtained document revealed under the Freedom of Information Act confirms the Department of Homeland Security keeps tabs on Drudge Report as part of its media monitoring program. It's worse than that, folks. We have documents, and that's why they've sued to get them to get the full documents that they're spying directly. And, and, and telling TSA 
uh, you know, to uh, basically that this is a threat, the Drudge Report's evil, and that I'm evil. But it shows that they're not as powerful as people think they are if they're scared of news websites. Right, absolutely. Information is power. It is power. And the more information we have, the more powerful we become. Um, how powerful did we become when we found out that the NSA was spying? We became very powerful, very powerful because we became pissed off. We became frightened. And, and no one wants that. People want the, the, uh, the populace to be at ease. and Sedate and, uh, while they roll sedate, over us. That's it, basically it. And so when we, when we stop being sedated, they panic. This is the fact. That's the name of the game. They want to sedate us. They want to calm us, so we just quietly slip off into Neverland. Gentlemen, I want to get into that question. What do you think is going on with this Malaysian flight? It's like five days or whatever it's been missing, six days. What's going on here? Well, either it was picked up by a flying saucer, which I doubt very seriously, or, there, or there's something nefarious going on. I believe we're going to find out that there is criminal activity involved, uh, possibly a hijacking. Um, Remember when the Chinese forced down that AWAC to steal yes, its technology? Absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of top tech people on the plane. What do you think? Yeah, what was on that plane? Uh, yeah, the, what was on that plane? A bunch of top tech people, number one. Um, so either it went down and someone benefited, um, or, or maybe it's innocuous. Maybe it just had, had a mechanical error. However, why would it be changing directions? This is the issue. My gut tells me it's either a hijacking or a government remote control, which they admit are on those planes, and landed it as a tech heist. Could be. Could be. I, I, I do believe there's criminal activity. I think that will, that will you know, that's another thing we can test McAfee and, and his intuition or his information. Well, that's, the, the Chinese did that with the AWAC that time. Absolutely. And this plane's flying by China and it just disappears. Well, there were, Absolutely. There was like fake passports and stuff involved too. I've yes. seen a couple stories around yeah. that. Back passport. to fake passports. Back to yeah. fake passports. Yeah. And you said so, South Korea. That's South Korea, absolutely. That, the, both South Korea and the Middle East. That is, that is where, that is where uh, Belize makes most of its money off of the issuing of, of new identities and fake passports. And you got those Iranians thrown in the mix. Absolutely. Well, that's Middle Easterns again. Uh, that was the same deal, but on the plane. I just, meanwhile, while we're worried about that, I mean, literally, they're not crazy enough to actually start a war with Russia, are they? Well, why not? I mean, you know, why, why let them get more powerful? That might be some thinking. Again, I, I am I'm an adamant opponent of war. However, the... the uh, uh, the military-industrial complex cannot survive without it. Think about it. And I guess they're saying Al-Qaeda is not the threat. That's our <laughs> new ally in Syria. So they say domestic groups and the Russians are the new enemy. And, I, and, and who are the domestic groups? You and I? Yeah, they say libertarians, returning veterans, gun owners. Basically old-fashioned men and women. I mean, just people that don't want to be total slaves. We're bad. Well, I guess we have... Bad John McAfee. <laughs> I'm as bad as I get. Both of us. Tell me he's bad. Bad, bad, bad. You just called me Satan earlier. I, think he I, think, likes didn't it. You? I was just joking. No, no, no. You do. I, I literally, it just clicked earlier. The archetypal handsome devil pops up when you look at John McAfee. I'm sure you've heard that before. I have, yes. Yeah. I mean, no, no. M if I was a Hollywood Central caster and I was going to come up with the devil, it would be John McAfee. But he's not actually a devil. Because, see, folks, the devil doesn't really look like the devil looks in Hollywood. The devil looks more like, uh, I don't know, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> no, I've noticed it more more innocuous. The devil doesn't actually show up looking like the archetypal handsome devil. It, it, the devil shows up like a nice little old lady who wants the moral high ground. And oh, Sonny, can you help me? Can you let me run your life? Or you're a bad man. The devil tells you you're a racist if you don't turn your guns in. The devil accuses you and tells you you shouldn't have freedom. And then all these movies twist it to say the devil wants to give you freedom, like, 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 like Al Pacino's Devil's Advocate. I want to empower humanity. I'm a fan of humanity. B.S. B.S. The devil wants to enslave, not empower. Well, if the devil looked like the devil, we would not get close enough to become ensnared, would we? Exactly. That's exactly. Nice. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very clear. Uh, let's talk to Peter in New York. Peter, you're on the air. Go ahead. Wow, it's a it's a thrill to be uh, participate in your uh, discussion here. I, I am a little bit. Uh, I have a problem with uh, Mr. McAfee's uh, sort of demonization of Hezbollah. Uh, I think it's far more likely that the British are up to shenanigans there in Belize than Hezbollah. Hezbollah 
it, it's a it's a it's a resistance movement engaged in national defense. They do not come over to the Western Hemisphere. Right, let me stop you. Let me stop you, sir, because I'm going to say something. And I want John to say something. I'm not anti-Iran. They invite me on Iranian TV every week, and I'm too busy to do it. National TV te television. Okay. L let me explain something. I'm against attacking Iran. I want Iran to be able to have power and, and be able to have refineries and be able to have a good culture. Okay, but the head of the Iranian